Hey Major League Baseball, Joey Gallo is saying thank you after your new rule change that's eliminating the shift. Yeah, if you didn't hear about this, I made a video about it yesterday, but MLB and the MLB Players Association has agreed to remove the shift in baseball. Now, Joey Gallo is going to be so much better after this. I think he's about to have an MVP type season. So if you like Yankees videos, then please subscribe. This is the best place to be for all Yankees content. But let's get into this. Now, Joey Gallo has shifted on a lot. 95% of the time in 2021. That is third of all hitters with a minimum of 250 plate appearances behind Jose Ramirez and Carlos Santana. That is ridiculous how often he has shifted on. And he has extreme shifts on him, you know, four men outfields, guys all over on the right. And he'll bunt against the shift. We've seen him do it a lot in his time with the Yankees. But a bunt is just not as good as a home run. And with the elimination of the shift, Joey Gallo is about to be so much better. Now, he had a bad season with the Yankees. <laughs> Plain and simple. He had a 160 with a 303 on base percentage, a 404 slugging, and an OPS of 707. You know, he hit below 200 on the season, struck out a ton, played good defense. Really good defense, but he was home run, strikeout, or walk. And a lot of fans are really mad at that. That's still the type of player that we have, but with the elimination of the shift, which will help Gallo a ton, you know, normal fielders, he'll be a lot better, considering he was shifted, again, 95% of the time. He's going to be a lot better. He only got to play 58 games with the Yankees. I think he's a prime candidate for bounce-back player of the year. He still had a good year overall, just a bad year with the Yankees. So, I think Gallo... Gallo needs to be given another shot here. We judged him too harshly based on 58 games. He did what he always does. He struck out, hit some home runs, and he walked. But he didn't get enough walks. He didn't hit enough home runs. He did everything that he normally does, just worse when he was with the Yankees. And in a full season, he'll be a lot better. And with the elimination of the shift, he'll be a lot better. A lot of the rule changes that... MLB and the MLB Players Association have agreed on are helping the Yankees a lot. Universal designated hitter. No more draft pick compensation. So when the Yankees do a, like if the Yankees sign a big player, we don't have to give up a first round pick. I feel like the Yankees knew a couple of these changes were going to happen in baseball. They knew that there was not going to be a designated hitter, or that there was going to be a designated hitter everywhere maybe they knew that the shift was going to be removed before we did they had i mean you know they're obviously a baseball team they know stuff that we don't that could be why they didn't strike it early they were waiting waiting for these rules to happen and changes that made them stronger and allowed them to have a more precise plan of attack and free agency that's what i'm hoping for but Joey Gal is about to be a beast next season when the CBA is reached. So I cannot wait to see him play with the Yankees, and I cannot wait to see the Yankees play.